Hi developers. So uh, in last part we created a static UI for cart page and now we will make it dynamic through API. So let's start with the point. So first of all we will call API uh, so that we can get the uh, dynamic cart data from database and we can render this data on the UI also. So keep in mind guys we will uh, make this uh, price summary dynamic also right. Uh, here you can see that the amount so we will that amount will be the uh, total amount of all uh, items inside the cart we will apply some tax delivery charge and discount and we will show the uh, cumulative price there all right so now we can start with the code and uh, let me just start with the product so here we will create a one service function so that we can call it right so let's say our service function name is current cart and uh, we can just simply return this dot http dot get data and uh, I'm just save the time what I'm going to do I will just copy this data from there and uh, uh, we also need a user ID there because we are just getting the data on the behalf of user ID which user is logged in there right and uh, we can say that user ID and how we can get this user ID all right so we can get it from the database and just make it quickly i am just jumping on a uh, header.component and just copying these two lines right and pasting there so we are just getting the data from local storage and we are just converting inside we are just parsing it right and after that let's simply put there user data dot id and we can just simply put there plus sign also perfect uh, that's all that we need in that function after that we can uh, just format it if you want all right and after that let's call this uh, current cart function inside our uh, cart detail page right so cart page basically so what i'm going to do there in the constructor i'm creating an instance of uh, uh, product service so i'm just taking a private property product and the product will be a service all right now inside ng on it that will be changed once we will just change any url so we are just route we are just uh, coming from any other page to uh cart page that time this function will call right so <clears throat> product dot current cart and uh, as you know we can subscribe it there so let me just subscribe and as you know it will return a callback function so i am just putting their result and here let's simply put there uh, we can use this result but uh, for that we have to define the type of this service so i am defining the type there right and now we want to collect this result inside any item right inside any you can see that uh, property so cart data and the type of it will be cart and that will be type of uh, uh, I don't know what is that cart we can import it from cart type and uh, and it could be undefined if there is uh, nothing right and now what we can do there this dot cart data is result and now we have all of data inside the uh, cart so if you want to check that what we are getting inside that cart data then just make a console there console.log or console.won and you can check there here we go here you can see that we got a two item iphone and nike shoes all right nike shoes <clears throat> so now we want to render it on a ui so for that let's go to the cart component dot uh, cart page component dot html so i don't need all of these uh, ul so i am removing extra i just need one only there right so we can remove all of these ul and now let's apply only one uh, star ng4 only on one uh, ul so we can see that cart 
of cart data and now we can use this cart for everything like image and price and all so here what i'm going to use there cart dot image and now you will find that we got a dynamic image there <clears throat> and here we goes so the next thing is let's just make that price quantity everything uh, dynamic so for price for a product name what we can do there cart dot name and let's just show the text price also text also with price quantity also with price all right now you can see that we got so let's say you just want to add one more item there so you can definitely add so let's say i just want to add laptop uh, with two quantity so if i'm just adding there and jumping over there you can see that we have a uh, two quantity of uh, laptop and uh, there is some css is actually messing up so uh, i hope you can fix it because we are just focusing on the logical part all right so now let's make this uh, a price summary also dynamic right so for that what you need to do just again come to the card page dot ts file and let me take one more property there so that uh, see we will make up one object for all of this kind of price like amount tax and all right so what we can do there uh, let's uh, simply take uh, cart summary property right and the type of that we need to define so i will define a type inside that uh, data type so export interface uh, and that could be let's say cart price summary right okay so here what we need to define there so we can define there let's say price could be number after that discount again could be number everything will be number right so tax is also type of number and delivery charges delivery i think that is fair enough uh, that will again a number and last one is let's say total that will again and now we can use this uh, interface there right and let me change uh, the name of property also with the price right and uh, if you just want to add some by default values like uh, every property is mandatory then you can do that one that that thing also how we can do that let's simply put a uh, zero value to all of the, these object zero 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 to tax zero to delivery and zero to total great now let's come back to the result and let's provide a for each loop on that right dot for so that we can get the price of each object right so now let me just take their item all right and uh, here i'm just taking a price value okay and now what we can do there uh, price mm, <coughs> will be price plus item dot price but now you will find there is a uh, you can say that missing thing so let me just show you the price first like what price we are getting for all of these products so here you can see that actually this is uh, converted in a string uh, because we are using loops and all so the best way to just fix it just simply use their plus sign and use a bracket there so that it could automatically convert it inside the numeric <coughs> sorry guys my thought throat is actually not still uh, working <coughs> well okay so now you can see that there is a price but 
uh, price is actually not perfect because there is a two quantity in our price, but the total price is not fair enough for all of these products. So what I need to do there, so I just need to multiply there, uh, with the quantity. So uh, plus item dot quantity, right? But there is a thing like quantity could be undefined there. So we can simply check if quantity is defined, then we can just get the price, right? Perfect. So once we get the price, we have to just apply the discount and all the, all of these things. Now you can see that price is a bit different, right? Because 50,000 plus 50,000 for laptop and 1 lakh for mobile and uh, here you can see that 3. 30,000 for uh, uh, 3,000 for the shoes, all right? Okay, so next thing that we need to do there, uh, we just need to just fill up all of these properties, okay? So just come back there, put there this dot price summary equal to price. After that, okay, so there is some issue. Let me check the number is cannot assign the type of. Okay, so guys, we have to use their dot price. The next thing is this dot price summary dot uh, discount, right? So what we can do there, price, if you want to just apply 10% discount, we can do that. This dot price dot um, tax and you can provide any value to it and I am just putting there 10% of price. This dot uh, cart mm, sorry this dot price summary dot uh, delivery and for that let's say delivery charges is 100 rupees only okay so uh, we got all of these things but still we need to get the total so for that let's simply put there this price summary dot total you can collect all values and minus the discount uh, but there is another way also uh, for that you can use a loop and everything but i am just using the simplest way because i am expecting that many beginners are just watching this video that's why so using this price and uh, simply uh, just adding the tax there and for tax price divide by 10 after that uh, we again adding the 100 for delivery and we are we need to minus the discount also right so price divide by 10 this is our discount so i hope now we are getting all of uh, the values in for price summary so let me just make a console for this dot price summary <coughs> And let's see. And here you can see that we are getting all of values. So we can display all of these values there. So let's just simply use the price summary. And for amount, what I'm going to put there price summary dot price that is normal price. After that, uh, tax price summary dot tax. delivery charges price summary dot delivery and two more thing first one is discount we dot discount and last one is we have a total amount right dot total and now let's check it out on the screen is everything is working fine or not we are getting perfect result so we cannot remove card from there we will just apply this in the next part but what we can do there uh, for let's say you want to check on the price only for one product so we can just remove there and now the amount will really belongs to the two products so if you just want to remove the one product just go there remove this uh, iphone from cart you have one product and here you can see that the quantity of product is two <coughs> price is one so the and there is a delivery charges also so this is the total price let's say if you just want to add some more products again 
that is Samsung mobile with quantity of 3 let's add it or maybe you just want to search something but here you can see that we don't have a search option there because we just need to fix one bug there also right so what is that bug so for that okay so we will just fix it in the next part right because this is not the just mentioning the points of and all so this is just small tricks and that we'll just fix in the next part so for a moment let's say you just want to add the shoes so just add one shoes also and this is the total price of so in next part we will just proceed to the uh, buy now option and oh, oh there is a one more thing that we need to fix <coughs> sorry guys we have to just put one more bracket there and here we go so that's all for guys uh, and please keep supporting me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys thank you for watching this video